Well, hello and welcome to uh, this exercise on vector algebra uh, suggested to be by uh, one of my subscribers and I think it's probably uh, given that it's probably a specimen paper either from edXL or AQA so I, I, I cut it to them for you know let me use this anyway right and it says um, um, OSCD is a trapezium and OSCB is a par parallelogram uh, B is the midpoint of OD, okay, and M is the midpoint of CD, okay. Now, this this slide B M I put it myself. That's not in the original question itself. Okay. Uh, it then says um, O A is vector O A has value of A and vector O B has got value of B, so that's what it got. That's O A and OB. Now while we're there, we're told that uh, OACB, all of that, is a parallelogram. Okay, now with that in mind, we know that um, if that's a parallelogram, that OA is parallel to BC, therefore BC has got a, vect a value of uh, A as well, and AC, this one here, has got uh, a vector value of B. Okay, hope that makes sense. And because B is the midpoint of CD, so this bit here from B to D has got to have a vector value of B as well. Okay. Right, moving on, it then says um, given that BM is equal to K times, so vector BM is equal to K times. OC via case scalar, uh, you use a vector method to find the value of K. Okay, now what I've done here, which is a mistake, is that AB is equal to minus A plus B or B minus A. Now, this is not needed. Nor is AD is equal to 2B minus A. Now, that's not also needed. So it, it does happen in the exam that you end up. So, in effect, I've wasted my time there. I don't need that, but it's good practice anyway. Okay, but I do need OC. Now, I need OC to go from O to C. I want to go from there all the way to C. Okay, so I have to go where what I, read, or I already know. So I'm going to go from O to A and from A to B. Sorry, I'm from A to C. And that's saying a plus b give us a value of a plus b so vector oc is a plus b okay now moving on from that i want to find dc because i'm looking for this at some stage i want to find dm so i want to find dc now to go from d to c i have to go from b sorry i got to go from d to to B and I'm going against the grain so it's going to be minus B and I'm going to go from B to C which is going to be plus A there. So D to C has got a value of A minus B because you can change minus B plus A to A minus B. So DC is A minus B. Now having got DC I'm now in a position to find DM. Now to find DM I'm going to half DC because M is the midpoint of DC. So DM is a half A minus B. Yeah, this bit is a half A minus B. Right, so I've got DM. Now I can go from B to M by going from B to D yeah, and from D to M. Now B to D is B and D to M is a half a minus b so b m is b d plus d m and we know that b b d is b and d m is a half a minus b when you open up the bracket you have that b plus a half a minus a half b now a half a sorry b minus a half b will give us uh, a half b so b m is a half a plus b 
Now, this bit here, a plus b, so a plus b is the same as OC is equal to a plus b. So OC from we got from there we had that OC is equal to a plus b. So now BM has now got a value of uh, a half OC, which is a half a plus b. So the value of k is a half. Now, I do hope all that made some sense and please, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and bye-bye now. Bye-bye.